Welcome back. My name is Amanda here with Cookville RV and Marine, and today we're taking a look into this 2021 Ranger VS1782. And we have here the WT model, which means we have the walkthrough option that comes with two fiberglass consoles versus the regular SC, which is a single console model. But let's get going straight to the trailer. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification icon because we post videos all the time and you don't want to miss it. So let's get going. As you can see, we have a custom fitted ranger trail trailer on this ranger it also has a swing away tongue and we've opted for the spare tire with the aluminum wheels but moving on to our trolling motor we have a Minn Kota Taroba trolling motor that is 80 pound thrust 24 volt trolling motor with a recessed foot pedal and as you can see everything is really laid out nicely here in the front and they've added the adhesive material so even when it's wet it's not going to be slippery but talk about the flooring we have an upgraded vinyl woven flooring on this boat that's super durable you can power wash it it's definitely something you need especially in a boat like this then you really can do whatever you want with you can ski fish hang out with the family or just by yourself it's super durable but let's hop right in and look at the storage in the front we have four main compartments uh starting to my left here a really large compartment to store anything basically you need this is going to be your larger storage unit so maybe even your tackle say if you're going uh, fishing definitely a good place to keep that or if you're out with the family good place to keep some extra life jackets as well moving up here to my right another smaller compartment just for anything you need uh, life jackets anything like that and then here right in front of the driver console will be what seems to be another live well which is super convenient that they have multiple ones um areas for aerating it in here as well and they do all lock but let's look at the rod storage Located conveniently in the middle of the boat is your rod storage. You've got plenty of places to hold rods, each of them divided so they won't get all tangled together. But yes, this is as high as it goes. This is as wide as it opens and it is on a hydraulic lift. So it stays open, but it's definitely not a whole lot of room. You would have to be sitting where I'm sitting to conveniently get to it. But while we're here, we're gonna talk through the walkthrough window option that we have opted for on this Ranger. As you can see, you can latch it from each side and it kind of breaks the wind a little bit while you're going down the water. But on the other SC model, the single console, you're basically just missing your window here. You have half of that window and then there's just a storage box on this side. So that's what you would be getting if you got the other model. Looking down to where we see, we have a storage compartment, a nice big handle just in case you're going super fast and a speaker system for this boat. So you can definitely play, play music if you got your family hanging out or you just want to relax on the water it's really great the captain's view here we have a few separate things all of our controls and switches are easily handled the steering wheel does go up and down with a lift we have a Lowrance hook seven which i'll take off um it's a reveal hook seven and we have a throttle here on the side and all of our live well pumps are down here as well Looking into the seating on this Ranger, we do have a dark charcoal colored bow with nice blue accents and they've definitely brought it into the seating. I love the blue accents on these as well. As you can see, we have three seats here and there's plenty of ways to customize this, customize this boat. We can put it behind the passenger, you can even put it behind the driver, or you can put it either on the front or the back right behind me if you're say fishing and you wanted to have a sort of a seat right where the action is going. Looking this way, more storage on the side, especially good for the passenger or anyone else sitting close by. Um, a good place for your net as well. It's got a few pole attachments. On the floor in between your seats, you have another compartment. Usually people put skiing equipment here, especially if you're planning on to doing any water exports or any accessories you want to bring along. It is a small compartment and it's definitely not waterproof. Moving to the back. We have a very large live well area here. As you can see, our live well is on this side. We have a divider, but the water flows all the way underneath here to this area where you can hold your bait as well. I love that they added that in. Another thing on the back here, you have access into another battery storage here, but remember your other two batteries are located in your rod storage compartment. But let's look at this motor. We have a Mercury Pro XS four stroke 115 on the back of this. Of course, you can opt for the 150, but definitely check which dealership you're interested in before purchasing. Also on the back, we have a stainless steel boarding ladder. Our fill station is also located on the other side, and we have trailer tie downs that we always opt for. 
If you have any questions about this boat or any other boat on the Ranger line, then give us a call or visit us online at cookvillerv.com where your adventure awaits.